Well, good afternoon, friends. We really appreciate you giving a few moments of your time. We're at a wedding today and I've just bumped into an old friend. It's the Reverend <laughs> Philip Berry. And Philip is serving the Lord in Lisburn, the same city uh, that we live in ourselves, in the Congregational Church in the County Down side of Lisburn. So I just asked Philip to give a word of testimony and tell us how he came to know the Lord. And Philip, it's over to you. And thanks for doing this at short notice. It's Thank much appreciated you. now. So, yes, you. we're at this wedding today and we've enjoyed uh, fellowship together. But my story begins way back in the town of Tandragian, County Armagh. And if you're not familiar much about it, uh, if you like Tato Crisps, well, that's the town uh, that the Tato Crisps have been made in and famous for. And so that's where I was brought up in my early days. Mom and Dad came to faith in Jesus Christ and uh, they got married and they set their home up, first of all, just outside Scarva. And then they moved into Tandragi and there then I was born. And uh, so, but from an early age, I knew the way of salvation yeah. and brought up in a Christian home. Um, went to the local uh, Free Presbyterian Church and of course well you knew from Sunday school days, children's meetings, mm -hmm. that sort of gospel theme and uh, so whether it was at home or at church um, I was well influenced yeah. by the gospel um, and so that's the way we went to children's meetings, Sunday school and but it wasn't until about the age of 11 when I actually put my trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, it was through, I suppose in many ways, a tragedy. It depends how you look at it. A mm. um, uh, cousin of mine and his family were out for a day's outing, heading towards Newcastle. And they stopped for a little picnic. And um, the cousin decided they needed to use the toilets. And they were on the opposite side of the road. And they were going across the road. He ran ahead and went right into the road and was killed. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so that still stays with you even today. Simon was his name. But then on the other side, his mom and dad looks at it that through that death, it had a real impact on my life. Yeah. And I realized I wasn't ready to meet the Lord. He was already a, a Christian. Yeah. Even though he was only around seven years of age, he already had come to faith in Christ. Yeah. I was a bit older and here was me mm -hmm. and I hadn't. Brought up in the same church, all that sort of thing, but I hadn't taken that step. Yeah. And then I began to think, well, if that was me, where would I be in, yeah. in eternity? And so the Spirit of God started to speak. And then one night, um, went to bed as usual. My sister had already become a Christian. She's just a year or two younger than me. And I thought, I need to do something about this. Such was the conviction of the Lord that I need to do this now. Mm. And so got out of bed, went into my sister and said, Rachel, uh, I need to speak to dad. I need to come to Christ. Yeah. And so dad came up, went into mom and dad's room. He opened the family Bible and he read that lovely verse, for God so loved the world, yeah. Yeah. that he gave his only begotten son. And then we got to his over. He says, Philip, that means you. And he says, you can put your name in there. Yeah. For Jesus died for yeah. you. And we finished off the verse. And he had a wee chat uh, about salvation. And just there and then, with his help, I asked the Lord into my heart to be my saviour. And I always say this when I'm giving a testimony. That night, Dad had this family Bible, and the names were written in yeah. here, and the dates when various folk of the family had come to faith in Christ. And so that night, yeah. he placed my name in the Bible. Brilliant. But then I often yeah. say, well, there was a greater book than that. Absolutely, yeah. It was the Book of Life. Yeah. And that's where my name is tonight. And so therefore, yes, and God's been good. Life isn't always easy. It has its ups and downs. But then God started to work in my life in about full-time service. I had been active in my own church yeah. and all that sort of thing. And then God decided, I want to take you further. And I was at a youth meeting one night. Noel Stevenson was the speaker, and he's speaking on Philip in the Ethiopian eunuch, and he says, Philip, I need you to go. Yeah. And that just hit there. And I thought that night, well, if that's what you want me to do, Lord, then that's the way it's to be. Yeah. But he's been good. He's Absolutely. been faithful. Yeah. He's never let us down. He's always been there. We have let him down many times, but he has been that faithful yeah. friend. And it's just a joy, just not knowing him as just a saviour, yeah. but to be able to serve him and give something back to him for what he has even done for me and saving me by his grace. It's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Well, <coughs> excuse me, Philip, I really appreciate you giving up your time to share a word of personal testimony. 
and you get saved when you're young and that's a wonderful wonderful thing and a wonderful privilege to be brought up under the sound of the gospel to have christian parents and we should never despise that maybe you're a young person today and maybe take that for granted a little better maybe we're not even all that happy about it but it's a wonderful thing to grow up in a christian home to give your life to god when you're young and philip has been serving the lord for a lot of years now and mm -hmm. you're in lisburn in the congregational church mm -hmm. which is just not all that far off the saint field road That's roundabout right. mm -hmm. so if you're coming into lisburn from that side of the town before you go over the union bridge just up back up the road about the congregational church on the left hand side and you'll be able to hook up with this man there and we really appreciate you brother no it's appreciate and it's lovely time. to be able to serve the lord together yeah in the city of lisburn yeah and we have that same mind yeah it's to see precious souls come to know yeah. our savior you too long so. for that, don't you? oh you do yeah. all the time never yeah. lose you i know no I know. but it's a pleasure to meet you today here yeah, and to too. do this short yeah. video presentation yeah. Well, friends, thanks for joining us today, and we appreciate you giving up your time, and we'll see you again, God willing, next time. Okay, God bless, folks. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Bye-bye.